Welcome to Nextstar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 17 Page Setup. In this video, I'll be covering how to change page orientation and size, and how to create columns. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about page setup. And we've already covered uh, margins, but today we're going to be covering orientation, size, and columns. So first for orientation, this will decide how your page is laid out. So if you click the orientation button, you can see that you can either choose portrait or landscape to lay your page out. And portrait is when your page is up and down, and landscape is when it's um, sideways. So portrait is your automatic setting, and if you want to switch it to long ways, you'll just click the landscape button, and this will change your page orientation. So the next thing we're going to talk about is page size. And Word 2010 has a variety of paper sizes that you can choose from for your documents. And to pick one of the presets in Word, all you need to do is come to Page Layout, click the Size button, and you'll see a drop-down list of all the presets. So you can either select one of these preset sizes just by clicking it, or you can also change your paper size to a custom size by going to Page Layout, Size, coming down to More Paper Sizes, so here you'll also see where you can set um, your paper size to an automatic size or to create a custom size, you can adjust your height and width. Now what you can also do is you can decide to have one size paper for your first page and your other pages be a different size altogether. And you can also choose to apply your paper changes to the whole document or to this point forward. And you'll just click OK and this will change your paper size. Now in the page setup area, you can also add columns to your document. So Word has preset column templates that you can add to your document, and you can do this by coming to Page Layout, clicking the Columns button, and you can choose two columns, you can choose three columns, or you can choose to have a left column or a right column. And as you can see with the left and right columns, this means that if you choose left column, the column on the left will be slightly smaller than the column on the right, and vice versa for the right column. And if you decide that you don't like your column settings, you can come over to columns and click one, and this is your default to just have one column in your document. Now with a multiple column document, you'll notice that the text will start wrapping automatically to the next column uh, once the first column is filled with text. Now if you want a column to break early and have text in another column, you can create a manual column break. And to do this, you're going to put your cursor where you want the text to break, and you're going to come up to Page Setup, click Breaks, and choose the Column button. And you'll notice that this creates a column break, and it'll go to the next column. Now there are also some special features that you can change on your columns. So to look at these, you're going to go over to Columns, click More Columns, and you'll notice that you can click this line between, click OK, and this will add lines in between your columns. Another feature that you can do here is you can adjust the width and spacing of your columns. So if you have this equal column width, all of your columns will be the same width and spacing. But if you want to change just one of your columns width, you can unselect this button and you'll see that you can have access to all three of your column spacing and width. So you just can come over here and adjust your width or spacing, and width is the width of your column, so you can change that, and spacing will be the space to the right of your column. So you can add that or subtract that here. And you can see in your preview that um, this is increasing the spacing. And once you're okay with your changes, you can decide if you want to apply them to the whole document or from this point forward. So once you've made your edits, you'll just click OK and those changes will be applied to your document. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 17 Page Setup. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.